Hello, today we're going to talk about the OW vowel team. Remember, a vowel team is when you have two letters working together to represent one vowel sound. In this case, the W is actually serving as a vowel in this word. The OW vowel team can represent two different sounds depending on how it's being used in the word. The more common one is for it to sound like the long O sound, like in snow, O, snow. The next common one is for it to sound like ow, like in cow, ow, cow. As we go through today's activities, it will be helpful for you to have a whiteboard or a piece of paper so you can do the activities along with me. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do is to warm up our brain in thinking about the sounds and words. I'm going to say a word. I want you to give me a thumbs up if that word has the OW vowel team sound, either O like snow or ow like cow. If it doesn't have one of those two sounds, then give me a thumbs down. Try to figure out if it does have that pattern. Does it sound more like O like snow? or ow like cow by pointing to those two pictures. I'll do the first one. The word is blow. I stretch the sounds, b, l, o. There's three sounds and that last sound is o like snow. So this is a thumbs up and I would point to the snow picture. Your turn. The word is moon. Does moon say o like snow or ow like cow? Nope. Moon says oo. Oo is not o or ow. What about moen? Yep, thumbs up. Moen sounds o like snow. What about brow? Thumbs up. Brow says ow like cow. What about toe? Thumbs up. Toe says o like snow. What about ton? Thumbs down. Ton says a. Uh. A uh is not o or ow. What about flowin? Thumbs up. Flowin says o like snow. What about crowd? Thumbs up. Crowd says ow like cow. What about snow? Thumbs up. Snow says o like snow. What about scowl? Thumbs up. Scowl says ow, like cow. What about scoot? Thumbs down. Scoot says oo. Oo is not o or ow. What about wow? Thumbs up. Wow says ow, like cow. What about crow? Thumbs up. Crow says o, like snow. What about mo? Thumbs up. Mo says O oh, like snow. What about down? Thumbs up. Down says ow like cow. What about Dan? Thumbs down. Dan says eh. Eh is not O oh, or ow. What about throwin? Thumbs up. Throwin says O oh, like snow. What about town? Thumbs up. Town says ow like cow. Now that we've listened to those sounds and words and you've really gotten used to hearing the O like snow or ow like cow, we can use those sounds to help us to write words. Watch me, I'll do the first one. The word is mo. I stretch the sounds, m, o. There's two sounds and that last sound is the long O sound like snow. So we can use the O-W vowel team to spell that word. M is represented by the letter M. O, we said, is the long O sound represented by the O-W vowel team. M, O, Mo. This next one I'm going to do has a different sound. I colored it red because it does not follow our pattern. The word is moo. I stretch the sounds. M, oo. Moo says oo. Oo is not O or ow, so it does not follow our pattern and we will not use the O-W vowel team. Moo is spelled m m o. That's the o o vowel team. So it's really important for you to listen. Does it say o or ow? If it doesn't say o or ow, we cannot use the o w vowel team. Do this next one along with me. The word is growin. What is the word? Growin. Like there is corn growin in the field. Let's stretch the sounds. G er o. Does groan say o oh, like snow or ow like cow? It does. It says o oh, like snow. 
Help me to spell the word. What's the first sound in growin? G. What letter represents that sound? G. The next sound was R. What letter represents that sound? R. The next sound was O. We said the OW vowel team represents that long O sound like snow. The last sound was N. What letter represents that sound? N. G. R. O. N. Grown. Nice job. Let's do another one together. The word is brown. What's the word? Brown. Stretch the sounds with me. B, r, ow, n. Does brown say o like snow or ow like cow? It does. It says ow like cow. We can use that o w vowel team to spell that ow sound. The first sound was b. What letter represents the b sound? B. The next sound was r. What letter represents the r sound? R. We already know that ow is represented with the vowel team ow. The last sound was n. What letter represents the n sound? N. B, r, ow, n. Brown. Excellent. The next three I want you to do on your own. This would be a great time to use your paper or your whiteboard so you can stretch those sounds and then write the letters that represent each sound. The first word is rose, like there were four rows of flowers. Stretch those sounds. Does rose say o like snow or ow like cow? Go ahead and write each letter that represents each sound. Check your spelling. Did the word you write, does it blend to say rose? Let's check how you did. There are three sounds in the word rose. R, O, S. In this case, since we're talking about rose, like lines of things, we're going to use the O-W vowel team to spell that word. R is the letter R. Z at the end is represented by the letter S. R, O, S. This follows our pattern because the O-W vowel team is representing the long O sound like snow. Rose, snow. The next word that I want you to write is shown, like the picture was shown on the screen. Go ahead and stretch those sounds. Does shown say O like snow or ow like cow? Go ahead and write the letters that represent each sound. Shown. Let's see how you did. Shown has three sounds. Sh, O, N. It follows our pattern because there's the long O sound, and in ca this case, the long O sound is represented with the O-W vowel team. Sh is the digraph S-H. O is the vowel team O-W. N is the letter N. Sh, O, N, shown. Excellent. The last word I want you to write is the word clown. What's the word? Clown. Go ahead and stretch those sounds. Does clown say O like snow or ow like cow? Go ahead and write the letters for each sound you hear. Clown. Let's see how you did. Clown has four sounds, k, o, ow, n, clown. The k in this word is represented with the letter C. L is the letter L. Ow, ow is that O-W vowel team, ow like cow. N is the letter N. This follows our pattern because the O-W vowel team is representing the ow sound like clown, or like cow. K, l, ow, n, clown. Nice job. So you can see how listening for those sounds helps us then to be able to write those sounds in the words that we're trying to spell. We can also use these patterns to help us to read words. Watch me as I model with this word. The first thing I do is I look for any letters that work together to represent one sound. Right away I see that SH digraph, two letters working together to represent one sound. I also see the OW vowel team, two letters working together to represent one vowel sound. The last thing that I see is just a single letter S, 
This S is working on its own to represent one sound. When I read this word, the first thing I'm going to try is to read that OW vowel team with the long O sound like snow. If that doesn't sound right, I can always try the OW sound like cow. Watch as I model. Sh, O, Z, shows. Well, that makes sense. You can watch TV shows on TV. Let's try it with OW just to make sure. Sh, OW. Shows. I've never heard of a show before, so I think we're probably going to read this word as shows, like TV shows. We use the long O sound like snow to read that word. Help me with this next word. Are there any letters working together to represent one sound? You're right. There's an OW vowel team, two letters working together to make one sound. What else do you see? The S, the C, and the L all work on their own to represent the consonant sound. Let's blend the sound together, trying first the long O sound. S, K, O, O, skull. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Let's try it with the OW sound. S, K, OW, O, scowl. Well, I know what a scowl looks like. That's an angry face. So in this case, the OW sound was the correct sound for the word. Help me with one more. Do you see any letters working together to make a single sound? You're right, it has the OW vowel team. What about the rest of the word? Each letter is working on its own to represent its own consonant sound. Let's try blending this word. We try the more common long O sound first. F, O, O, flow. Well, that's a word. If we try the OW sound, F, O, OW, Wow, that's not a word. So we can see how using that more common O sound help us to figure out this, this word says flow. There's three more words over here that I want you to try reading on your own. You can use your whiteboard or your paper to write down the word and use those sound boxes to help you to find when letters are working together. You may need to pause the video so you have enough time to practice reading each word. When you're ready to check your work, go ahead and push play again. You may pause now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. Did you see any letters that were working together to represent one sound? You're right. The OW is working together in each of these words. That OW is that vowel team, two letters working together to represent one sound. Are there any other letters working together? Yep, the TH digraph. TH is two consonants working together to make one sound. In all the rest of the letters, each letter is making its own sound. Let's go ahead and look at this first example. We start by trying to read it with the long O sound. The O's, bows. There you go, we found out what the word was. In the next word, the R and the N are each making their own sound, and this is the word that has the TH digraph and the OW vowel team. Let's try it with the long O sound. Th, er, own, thrown. Yep, that worked as well. In both of these words, they use the long O sound. How about this last one? The C, the R, and the D are each making their own sound. Let's try it with the long O sound first, since that one tends to be more common. K, R, O, D, crowed. Hmm, haven't heard that before. Let's try OW instead. K, R, O, D, crowd. That I have heard, a crowd of people. So in this case, the OW sound was the correct one. You've done a lot of really good thinking today. We learned about the OW vowel team, two letters working together to represent one vowel sound. In this case, the OW vowel team can either say O, like snow, or OW, like cow, with the O sound being slightly more common. Thanks for working with me today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.